We have discussed the defensive capabilities of Finland on this channel lately. Go figure. But this is by no means the only medium that has done so. And many have pointed out that Finland has an impressive military. Different sources have given different estimates of the size of the Finnish military. The largest ones being over 900,000. And that is quite a lot when you consider that the population of Finland is only 5.5 million. How is this possible? Because there is a thing called Varusmies Palavelu. Unlike in most of the countries in the world, Finland has a mandatory military service. For example, in the USA this is not the case, as the liberation operations are carried out by professional soldiers. The risk in this approach is that eventually, as progress progresses, people get more liberties and the quality of life improves. Will there be enough people to join the military? Oh, never mind. Every man in Finland gets drafted in the year they turn 18. A few years ago, you could evade the draft if you believe that the Armageddon is just around the corner. But nowadays, that is not a valid reason anymore. There are few ways you can fulfill your conscription. Military service, civilian service, or if neither of these goes with your flow, you have the option to go to prison. What you do during your military service is highly dependent on the location and branch where you do your service. There are numerous garrisons around Finland, mostly being similar to each other, but there are some special locations that have distinct characteristics, like the Reserve Officer School in Hamina, the Air Force Academy in Tikkakoski, and Panzer Brigade in Parola. Speaking of the Air Force, before you go and purchase aviator glasses, you should notice that basic conscripts are lucky to even touch a fighter jet. Those who get to fly are professional soldiers. The branch which you will choose will also affect your service time. More importantly, your rank will also affect the time you have to spend in the uniform. You should keep in mind that a conscript is always a conscript, i.e. beneath a professional soldier. But here is a quick overview of the ranks you can obtain while serving as a conscript. You start as a recruit, and after you have done with your basic training and made your vows, you will be promoted to a private. If you do well in your training, you might get a rank of a private first class. Now we move up to the officers. If you want to have subordinates, your service time will be the maximum. The lower ranking officers are corporals, and just like with the private first class, you might get promoted to a sergeant if you do your job well. The highest rank you can get as a conscript is an officer candidate, and when you move to reserve, you will get promoted to a second lieutenant. So what do corporals and officer candidates do? Well, they mostly fulfill their power fantasies, as the military is for many the first place where they get the boss around. But besides that, they help the professional soldiers to train the rank and file. For example, in the beginning, they teach you the basic stuff. Commands, formations, etc. The bulk of the Finnish military service consists of two things. Waiting and cleaning. When you are not waiting or cleaning, you are training. Training naturally involves skills that are needed in your branch. And of course, there is weapons training. Weapons training usually involves shooting on a shooting range, or on a battle simulation. But more commonly, especially in the beginning of the training, firearm practice is done with sonic rounds, not the hedgehog. How this works is that the conscript loudly yells, Laukaus, in order to illustrate that the person in question has fired their firearm. But what if you want to go full auto? That is done by yelling SARJA! But this is not wise, as it will waste ammunition. Major part of the training are different training camps. Usually, they are done somewhere in the Finnish nature. At first, this might sound nice, sleeping in the tent, eating camping food and enjoying nature. But the reality is not as pleasant. Firstly, the mattress that the Defense Force provides you is designed to withstand the wall, so it is not the most comfortable one. But that is the least of your worries, because chances are that you won't be using it that much. And we can't forget that these training camps take place throughout the year, so conscripts get to enjoy the nice variety of the Finnish weather. Still, it could be worse. At least the enemy in the training camps isn't using live ammunition. After you have completed your military service, you will be given a wartime assignment and then you are moved to reserve. And this is the reason why Finland has such a large military. To refresh your skills, there are some recap trainings along the years, some of which are mandatory. 
military service has a very distinct culture in Finland. Examples of this could be wishing mornings to the new recruits, speaking in this language, slowly losing all motivation towards the training and turning into a gonna, etc. And we cannot forget the shenanigans and general as hattering of which conscripts are known for. Military service is a big part in the lives of young male Finns, and sometimes it feels that they don't talk about anything else. Because memories grow sweeter with time, many will tell these inti juttuja long after they have completed military service, making them sort of like war stories. So come on, we're telling war stories. Well, I don't really have any. Because I didn't do anything. You wanna know why? VMTL. <laughs>